Hello everyone, I just wanted to give you a quick overview here of the real essential information that you need to know about the Hebrew vowels. This chart here, you may notice some spelling differences between what you've seen and that sort of a thing. I really wanted to present this in as simple of a layout as I could. So there are three things that you need to know about every single vowel mark in Hebrew in order to master the vowels. The first thing that you need to know is the length of the vowel. And to simplify this, I, I've kind of used some different language here than Fatato. What you really need to know is whether or not a vowel is short. That's the most important information about the length. Is it short or not? So these are your five short vowels in Hebrew. Patach, Segel, Hirik, Kamitz, Chatzuf, and Kibbutz. Uh, if you know these five vowels are short and none of the others are short, you're doing well. All right, so memorize these as your short vowels. There's five of them. They go with the five English vowels. We've got Patach, A-class, Segel, E-class, Hirik, I-class, Kamitz, Chatzuf, O-class, and Kibbutz is U-class. So first thing you have to know about every single vowel is whether or not it's short. All right, the second thing you need to know about every single vowel is what class does it belong to? What, what vowel type, not type, but what, yeah, what vowel class are we looking at here? So these vowels all make an A type sound. These vowels all make an E type sound, I type sound, O type sound, and U type sound. You have to know, first of all, is the vowel short or not? Second of all, what type of vowel is it? What class of vowel? A, E, I, O, or U class? E and I class are part of the same family in Hebrew. O and U class are part of the same family. So sometimes when words change, you'll notice that you'll switch between an E and an I class vowel. That's perfectly normal. Don't really need to worry about that at this point. Just keep these in mind. Here's your E class, your I class, U class, and so forth. Shava is a reduced vowel, which means it's not short. It's actually shorter than short. It's reduced. But it's not part of one of these classes. It has no vowel character or vowel sound to it. It doesn't have an A, E, I, O, or U sound. So it's just on its own. But you need to know whether or not a vowel is short. You need to know what class the vowel belongs to, or at least what, you know, uh, sound it makes. And then the final piece of information that you need to know about every vowel is the name of it. Now, I know that some of the spellings here may be different than what you have in Fatato. So, for example, Hirik. Hirik in Hebrew is spelled with a chet, and so sometimes you'll speed it, see it spelled here with an H, sometimes with a CH, sometimes with a KH. Same with uh, Patach. You've got that, ka, uh, that KH on the end. Uh, something like Kamet Chatuf. Chatuf has the chet, so sometimes it's ch, sometimes kh. Um, there will be differences in the spelling. You just need to be able to recognize the name of the vowel when you see it. You know, if you see hirik, however it's spelled, do you know that it's a single dot under the letter? When you see cholam, however it's spelled, do you know that it's a single dot above and to the left of the, vowel, of the letter? That's what you need to know. Um, and when you see a sere, when you see two dots below a letter, do you know that that's a sere? okay? So remember, in this class, you are not being asked to learn how to speak Hebrew. You're not even being asked to learn how to write Hebrew. You're being asked to learn how to read Hebrew, which is much easier than writing or speaking Hebrew. And so, to a certain degree, pronunciation is much less important. It is very helpful to have consistent pronunciation, but pronunciation style varies from grammar to grammar. Sometimes people use a modern Hebrew pronunciation where, for example, the comets and the patach will sound identical. I think that Fatato uses this approach. Some will use a more teaching-centered pronunciation, what we call a pedagogical pronunciation, where they will make differences between every single sound so that it's easier to remember how a word is spelled. So, kametz would have the ah sound like father. Patach or patach would have the ah sound like cat. 
Uh, you would also have, for example, Hirik would have the I sound as in hit. Hirik Yod would have the E sound as in um, thief. I'm trying to think of an I word in English that has the E sound. So um, many, I guess, the second I there. Uh, so different grammars are going to give you different pronunciations. It's much less important how you pronounce the patach and the hirik and the kamitz chatuf. It's much more important that you pronounce them consistently. All right, so you may hear differences between the digital lessons for vocabulary and maybe what I say in the video conferences, but the real important information to keep in mind is, first of all, is the vowel short or not? Second of all, what class does the vowel belong to? What type of sound does it make? And third, what is the name of the vowel? If you know those three bits of information about every single vowel sound, you've got it. You, you will have mastered the vowels. I know it's a lot of information. I know it's intimidating. But just remember, you got to know whether or not the vowel is short, what class or sound the vowel belongs to, and then what is the name of each vowel sign. Hope that's helpful. Feel free to ask any questions that you have. You guys take care.